Amazon plans to replace more than half a million jobs with robots. Internal documents show the company that changed how people shop has a far-reaching plan to automate 75% of its operations. A tsunami of robots is coming. This script was written by Karen Wise of the New York Times. Over the past two decades, no company has done more to shape the American workplace than Amazon. In its ascent to become the nation's second largest employer, it has hired hundreds of thousands of workers, built an army of contract drivers, and pioneered using technology to hire, monitor, and manage employees. Now, internal strategy documents viewed by the New York Times reveals that Amazon executives believe the company is on the cusp of its next big workplace shift, replacing more than half a million jobs with robots. Amazon's US workforce has more than tripled since 2018 to almost 1.2 million, but Amazon's automation team expects the company can avoid hiring more than 160,000 people in the United States it would otherwise need by 2027. That would save around 30 cents on each item that Amazon picks, packs, and delivers to customers. Executives told Amazon's board last year that they hoped robotic automation would allow the company to continue to avoid adding to its US workforce in the coming years, even though they expect to sell twice as many products by 2033. That would translate to more than 600,000 people whom Amazon didn't need to hire. At facilities designed for super fast deliveries, Amazon is trying to create warehouses that employ few humans at all. And documents show that Amazon's robotics team has an ultimate goal to automate 75% of its operations. Amazon is so convinced that automated future is around the corner that it started developing plans to mitigate the fallout in communities that may lose jobs. Documents show the company has considered building an image as a good corporate citizen through greater participation in community events, such as parades and toys for tots. The documents contemplate avoiding using terms like automation and AI when discussing robotics and instead use terms like advanced technology or replace the word robot with cobot, which implies collaboration with humans. Kelly Nantel, a spokesman for Amazon, said the documents reflected the viewpoint of one group inside the company and noted that Amazon planned to hire 250,000 people for the coming holiday season though the company declined to say how many of those roles would be permanent. Amazon's plan could have profound impacts on blue-collar jobs throughout the country and serve as a model for other companies like Walmart, the nation's largest private employer, and UPS. The company transformed the US workforce as it created a booming demand for warehouse and delivery jobs. But now, as it leads the way for automation, those roles could become more technical, higher paid, and more scarce. Nobody else has the same incentive as Amazon to find a way to automate, said Darren A. Mogul, a professor at MIT who studies automation and won the Nobel Prize in economic science last year. Once they work out how to do this profitably, it will spread to others too. If the plans pan out, one of the biggest employers in the United States will become a net destroyer of jobs, not a net job creator, the professor said. The Times viewed internal Amazon documents from the past year they included working papers that show how different parts of the company are navigating its ambitious automation effort, as well as formalized plans for the department for more than 3,000 corporate and engineering employees who largely develop the company's robotic and automation operations. Amazon's worldwide operations leader said in an interview that the company had a long history of using the savings from automation to create new jobs, such as a recent push to open more delivery depots in rural areas. That you have efficiency in one part of the business doesn't tell the whole story for the total impact it might have, he said, either in a particular community or for the country overall. For years, Jeff Bezos, Amazon's founder and longtime chief executive, pushed his staff to think big and envision what it would take to fully automate its operations, according to two former senior leaders involved in the work. Amazon's first big push into robotic automation started in 2012 when it paid $775 million to buy the robotics maker Kiva. The acquisition transformed Amazon's operations. Workers no longer walk miles crisscrossing a warehouse. Instead, robots shaped like large hockey pucks moved towers of products to employees. The company has since developed an orchestrated system of robotic programs that plug into each other like Legos. And it has focused on transforming the large workhorse warehouses that pick and pack the products customers buy with a click. Amazon opened its most advanced warehouse last year as a template for future robotic fulfillment centers. Once an item there is in a package, a human barely touches it again. A company uses a thousand robots in that center, allowing it to hire 25% fewer workers last year 
than it would have without automation. Next year, as more robots are introduced, it expects to employ about half as many workers there as it would without automation. With this major milestone now in sight, we are confident in our ability to flatten Amazon's hiring curve over the next 10 years, Amazon's robotics team wrote in its strategy plan for 2025. Amazon plans to copy the design they utilized in Louisiana in about 40 facilities by the end of 2027, starting with a massive warehouse that opened in Virginia Beach, and it's begun overhauling old facilities, including one in Stone Mountain near Atlanta. The facility currently has roughly 4,000 workers, but once the robotic systems are installed, it is projected to process 10% more items, but need as many as 1,200 fewer employees, according to internal analysis. Amazon said the final headcount was subject to change. Bracing for job cuts, some employees working on the transition have strategized ways to control the narrative in Georgia by focusing on new technician jobs and innovation to give local officials a sense of pride, documents show. Amazon has said that local officials knew about the retrofit and that involvement in local efforts were unrelated. Amazon's automation plans became more pressing after the pandemic surge in online shopping sent Amazon on a hiring spree unrivaled in the history of corporate America. In March 2024, when executives working on the automation plans gave a presentation to the Amazon board, the directors pressed them to do more with less. By the fall, the robotics team had made progress. It reduced the cost of the automation plans to less than $10 billion and increased the expected savings to $12.6 billion from 2025 to 2027. Andy Jassy, who took over as chief executive in July 2021 when Mr. Bezos stepped aside, has pushed to cut costs across the e-commerce business. For years and years, they were really investing for growth, and in the last three years, the company's focus has shifted to efficiencies. Robotics really does make a difference to the bottom line. Amazon said it has a million robots at work around the globe, and it believes the humans who take care of them will be in the jobs of the future. Both hourly workers and managers will need to know more about engineering and robotics as Amazon's facilities operate more like advanced factories. At the Louisiana facility, more than 160 people work as robotic technicians and they make at least $24 an hour. Most of that depot's 2,000 employees are regular hourly workers whose pay starts at $19.50 per hour. Some thoughts from me. Amazon is perfectly positioned to become a robotics leader because they have the strongest incentive in the world to automate, saving billions while operating at a scale that will prove the technology for everyone else. Amazon isn't automating because they're excited about robots, they're automating because the economics are overwhelming. Saving 30 cents per item across billions of items translates to massive profit improvements. When you're operating at Amazon scale, even small efficiency gains multiply into billions of dollars. The Louisiana facility is the proof of concept. They're not running experiments anymore. They're copying a working template to 40 warehouses. That means they solved the hard technical problems and proven the unit economics work. The scale advantage is what makes Amazon different from other companies trying robotics. They can afford to spend billions developing automation systems because they deploy these systems across hundreds of facilities processing millions of packages daily. The return on investment is enormous when you can spread the development cost across that much volume. The professor mentioned is right that once Amazon proves automation works profitably in warehouse and logistics, every competitor will copy. Walmart, UBS, FedEx, Target, they'll all adopt similar systems because they can't afford to be 30 cents per item more expensive than Amazon. That's how industry transformation happens. The near-term employment impact is real and significant. Over 600,000 jobs that would have existed won't be created. Workers in facilities getting retrofitted will lose positions. The question is whether displaced workers can transition to higher skilled technical roles maintaining and operating the robotic systems. Amazon says they'll need workers who understand engineering and robotics as facilities become more like advanced factories. That's true, but those jobs require completely different skills than warehouse work. A picker who walks miles pulling items off shelves doesn't automatically become a robotics technician. The training and education gap is substantial. The optimistic scenario is those workers get reskilled into better paying technical positions. Amazon has the resources to fund massive retraining programs if they choose to. The realistic scenario is some workers transition successfully, whilst others struggle to find equivalent employment. But here's the broader impact. Amazon will learn more about deploying industrial robots at scale than any company in history. They'll discover what works, what doesn't, how to integrate robots with humans, how to maintain systems across hundreds of locations, and how to make the economics work. 
That knowledge becomes the playbook for automating physical work across every industry. This is how technological transition happens. One company with the strongest incentive and the resources to invest proves it works, then everyone else adopts it because competitive pressure forces them to. Amazon is doing for warehouse automation what Tesla did for electric vehicles, proving the technology at scale and forcing the entire industry to follow.